as you may notice, wearing blue helmets with their white sweaters. NHL GMs at their meeting on Tuesday okayed contrasting colored helmets as long as they don't conflict. For so example, if Toronto was playing Vancouver, only one team could wear the blue helmet. Oh. McCabe slammed down Alex Dabrinkit on that play. Now back at the point, Jake Walm on the Toronto native. Back for Moritz Seiner with a long shot. A bouncy puck in front, and John Tavares just missed on that. Tavares now in the top 100 in NHL points. One point behind Phil Kessel, the X lead for 99. Tavares plays it back in front of the puck. Karam down, and Lyon makes the save. Trying to corral that rebound, he finally does. Unstoppable the first few games. Well, the Red Wings went 5-1 and one to start the season. Leading the league in goal scoring at that time. Here's to break it with it. For Larkin with a quick chance off the end of the glove of Samson Eye. Picked up now by Gregor. Noah Gregor, who can fly, moves it on Wallman. Shoots from a sharp angle. Lyons steers that away. Yeah, the North Americans weren't bad either. Yeah, Brennan Shanahan. Here's Ollie Matta. Matta walks right in. Samsonov down. Matta wraps it around. Samsonov still down. And Valeno driving the net knocks the net off the moorings and play is called. Tries to pass that back. Pop got in the way, but Nylander gathers it back up. Swings it down to Tavares. Feeds it back. Matthews with a shot. And Lyon got the blocker on that to knock it out of the way. He was headed for the top corner. Minnesota on Sunday fly home that night. Next up on Black Friday in Chicago against Connor Bedard and the Blackhawks. Here's David Perron working in. Shoots from a sharp angle. Samson makes the save. The puck sticks to him as Perron was looking for the rebound. Supposed to be losses for sure. Matthews has the one assist in those last three contests. In comes Comfort. Shoots deflected at the side of the goal by Perron. Almost had a chance there. And a great playoff series. Here's that puck turned over to Domi. Domi moves in back and shot stopped by Lyon. Good puck retrieval and pressure by Nick Robertson. Forces Justice Bear into a turnover. Domi in good support position. Specs the beatings he took every night when people tried him and he just kept coming back for more. So much skill, so much strength. And because of the way he handled it, really opened the door for all the sweeps that came after. Another big minute night coming for Moritz Sider of Detroit. Eventually played almost 30 last night. Here's Nyes with it. Works it free. Pulls it back in front. Lyon, what a stop there. Here's the, there you see Domi. Look at everyone just swinging on each other. And this nice pull, reverse pivot, take it through and get it upstairs. Here's Giordano with it. Tavares pokes that ahead. In comes Bertuzzi, great move. Kind of Bertuzzi moves in a backhand shot, and Lyon makes a stop with his mask. The teams are playing well defensively here. Earlier chance by Bertuzzi, and it's a nice pass from Nylander, and he gets Valeno on a pivot. Tries to go back in upstairs, but Alex Lyon recognizes he's not going to bank this one off the side of my head. I get my head right up against the post. Oh. Plays it in deep. Wallman goes back as Matthews stripped it away from him. Austin Matthews feeds it back in front. Hammered oh, wide by off. Marner. The net is off. And the Leafs are arguing. Puck's worked out in the corner. Wallman turns it over right here. And as he goes back, Austin awkwardly edge. goes in there. I think that's his right leg. Watch his right knee. He's got a drag. That was as Marner was shooting it. Thank goodness for this. Matthews. Got it by Sprong. Works it free. Oh. Rasmus with a chance. Samson off down. The puck still loses the jam away at it. Sprong's in the net, but the puck is not. Puck gets turned over here. A good pass from Sprong. And look at this. Lauren Riley doesn't know where it is. And it's a wide open net. Just shoveling in the net, but he puts it right into the toes. To Detroit. Penalty shot attempt on Ilya Samsonov for the game's first goal. Sprong works in, scores! It was the fifth move that did it. And Sprong has his fifth goal of the year. What a patience. Recognizing I don't have it, I don't have it. But Samsonov lost any backwards momentum. He was just down and out and sprawled. He wasn't sliding back anymore. Which allowed Sprong to take it wide and finish it off to open the scoring. Kind of funny that Derek Malone, the Detroit coach, Raymond, works it back across to Sider. 
Snyder drops that back off to Brinkett's stick. Sherratt to Raymond, shoot, scores! Lucas Raymond has goals in back-to-back games in Sweden. And Detroit leads 2-0. And Mom couldn't be happier. Gothenburg, Sweden gives Detroit a 2-0 lead. He's a shooter, and you give him time and space now. Samsonov has got to make this save. He's down early, and yes, there's a lot of time there. Three Toronto defensemen in tight, but it goes underneath his elbow as he's leaning. Jeff Petrie being the scratch tonight after last right. night's game. But for tonight. But for tonight. But they, they've done a really good job managing this game so far. Been in complete control. Rarely has Toronto had any extended. Tavares feeds that back. Nylander gathers it back up. What a move by Nylander. Winds in, waits, feeds it back up for the score! Bertuzzi taps it home. The Leafs are on the board and Nylander's streak goes on. Points in 16 straight. But most importantly, the Leafs are back in it. But what a play from Nylander right here. See you later, Andrew Kopp. Whoa. Edge is better than yours. Take it wide. And Bertuzzi just presented a target. He gets his leg down, his hand way down by the bottom of his plate to get leverage and strength and says, Willie, put it right here. And he drops it right onto his stick. And Michael. A goal by Bertuzzi means that the Leafs' last seven goals have been scored by seven different players. Oh, nifty move there by Gregor Wines in. Shot by Campus Boy. Rebound in the goal post. Oh, what a great look there for David Kemp. 2 1. Detroit leads here in the third. The Leafs came that close to evening it up. Bertuzzi. Back to McCabe, Nylander for Tavares, and Nylander shoots pad save Wyatt, rebound to Jamboy in front, and Bertuzzi turned away point blank. Get the puck to Nylander up top, and he'll get time and space created. Nice little give and go, and Giordano right down on the doorstep with Bertuzzi banging away, crashing. And well, this is Toronto's only visit, if you want to call it that, to Detroit this year. This is a Red Wings home game. Both of Toronto's games here are road games. Marner sends it back in front, Avalanche hands, oh, the glove saved by Lyon. First shot was tipped by Matthews, but the rebound that he stayed with it, spotted it. And Marner puts it right on the stick for the tip, good one. That's really well done by Alex Lyon. It doesn't come free as the Leafs are looking for rebounds. Nylander uh, looking for... Action maybe more than the actual goal itself. Rebounds, tips. Two guys right on the crease. Face off on this side of the ice now. Tavares wins it back to Riley. Morgan Riley back to William Nylander. Could have thread that pass through. Sherratt blocked that. Marner throws it back in front. Nylander scores! William Nylander power play goal! The star of Sweden has tied the game. And his grandmother watching him play for the first time with a very subdued Swedish celebration. Very respectful. This is great work by Marner right here. That pull out of the corner. Very respectful. This is great work by Marner right here. That pull out of the corner with a guy right on his back. And then the spot in the pass to Nylander, the guy you want, you got to get it upstairs online. But this is more than a sentimental gesture here in the third period. This is William Nylander asserting the game. For Tuesday, back across, they score! John Tavares puts the Leafs ahead with five and a half to go! And this line strikes again. Nylander wins the draw to himself, gets it behind the net, and Tyler Bertuzzi has done yeoman's work in behind the net. He beats Justin Hall off the back wall, and that forces Oli Matza to play a two-on-one. He loses Tavares' coverage because he's worried about Bertuzzi walking for a shot, and he never takes a peek back door. And the Maple Leafs come back from 2-0 down. 
and record a 3-2 regulation win on a night with William Neal.